okay welcome to the first episode in this video we'll learn about how to use this kit how to install it and how can we program it using arduino ide so these are the three items we received inside the box this is the node mcu esp8266 board here we have this four channel relay module 5 volt and we have this female to female jumper wire for connections so these are the three items we received inside the box so now first of all we'll install this node mcu esp8266 board with arduino ide so this is the arduino ide and uh, first of all we'll go to first of all we'll go to file we'll go to preferences and we'll come to this additional boards manager urls so here we'll paste the link okay so this is the link and you can get the link from the description it is already in the description of the video so you just have to copy the link and paste here okay so after pasting the link you simply click on okay and now you have to come here You have to come here board manager okay so here in the board manager you simply type esp8266 okay here esp8266 by esp8266 community you will see this and you just have to install it it is already installed in my pc so there is no option showing here you just have to install it it will take a little time your laptop should connect it your laptop must connect it with the wi-fi that you have to take care and after installing it you can come here select other board and port now you find generic okay so once you type generic you can see the generic esp8266 module you have to click here now you can see that there is no port showing here okay because my node mcu board is not connected to my pc so let me connect it give me a moment okay going to connect my node mcu board okay so now you can see in in the com 11 in the comfort 11 it is showing usb where my node mcu board is connected so you have to click the both the board name and the uh, comfort you have to select it you have to type you have to click here okay you have to select it then you press ok okay so you can also verify it from here the board name is generic esp266 module and the com port is 11 now we'll see if it can take a blank code right so you can simply try to upload a blank code and see if it can take the code or not so as you can see it is uploading right it is writing data to the registers and all right that means the board is okay there is no issue with the hardware but in but sometimes some customers some people find issue because in some pieces they don't have a driver if you go to the device manager here you can see here you can see these ports right so you can see this ch340 com 11 this is a basically a a driver so this driver is responsible to transfer the data from your pc to the node mcu board 
and also the vice versa the reverse from node mcu to your pc so this ch340 driver the black ic on the node mcu board is responsible to transfer the data so for that some pc already has this driver installed pre-installed in some windows uh, but some windows actually don't have it so if you don't have uh, this driver pre-installed you simply come to google and you type here ch340 z driver and from any of the link you can download the ch340 driver you can also download from here any any link you can take so my laptop is windows so you can see windows ch340 driver and it is downloaded so you can simply extract it and you install it okay in my laptop it is already done so i don't have to do it so now we are confirmed that our C our node mcu board is okay it has no no issue let's jump to the uh, relay module right so this is the relay module you can see this is a four channel five volt relay module and here you have the pins the pinouts you have ground vcc and the four inputs so this is the relay module and you can see these are the outputs and these are the inputs okay you have six pins vcc ground and uh, four inputs for the four relays now we'll connect it with the node mcu so we have connected the node mcu board with the relay module and the connection is very simple you can see the we have received power from the vv pin and ground and we have connected the input pins at d7 d6 d5 and d4 so make sure that you don't use the d8 pin because this pin is connected to the serial communication so while uploading code it will create problem so don't use the d8 pin okay we have opened up the arduino id now first of all as we discussed before we will select the board generic esp8266 and we have selected the port also you have to click here okay and then press ok all right so first of all let me clear you something about the relay module and the esp8266 so there is a very important thing you have to take care of when doing this project first of all you can't turn on the all the relays here at the same time because it drags some amount of current which is unable to provide by this vv pin okay if you want to turn on all the relays at the same time then you have to use a different power supply okay so the vv pin will go to that power source and the ground pin of that other power source will be connected to the ground of this node mcu board you can do that but in our case you will not use all the relays at the same time we will only trigger one relay at a time so this relay will be on and other three will be off then this relay will be on other three will be off then this will be on other three will be off then this will be on other three will be off okay so we will write the program like that just to taste if the relay module is working or not okay. so let's start the code first of all we will define the pin modes right we know the pins we are using to trigger the relay module but there is a catch sorry p is small m is capital i hope you know about the basics of arduino id so we have to take care of one thing that is the gpio pins right because even though we are using d4 pins arduino compiler doesn't know about the d4 or d5 it only knows the gpio pins so d4 is basically the gpio 2 right so here we'll 
use pin number 2 for output ut p ut in capital okay so this is for the d4 this is for d4 the same will happen for the other pins also there is so we'll basically copy paste it one two three four right so the next pin is the next pin is the next pin we are using d7 so d7 pin is the gpio 13 right so we'll make it gpio 13 right that is d7 okay next we are using d6 d6 is gpio 12 so we'll use gpio 12 for d6 this is d6 and the last one is gpio 14 that is for d5 all right d5 okay so we have defined the pin modes that will basically trigger the relay modules input one by one right okay so before we go ahead uh let me explain a little bit about a very important concept that we have to know that is pulled up and pulled down method and circuits so in our relay module the inputs are basically pulled up so this is a pulled up circuit and this is a pull down circuit so it's very easy basically this is the led and in our case it's a relay module it's a relay right so if we make this pin high the relay module will shut down and if we make this pin low the relay module the relay will turn on so if you send zero our relay will turn on right so in our program if we make this pin low our relay module will uh, turn on and if we make this pin high then our relay module will turn off because this is a pulled up method and this is a pull down method where the concept is opposite so in our case we will use high to make the relay shut down and we will make low to uh, turn on the relay okay so first of all we'll turn off the relay module because if you don't do that the relay module will automatically um, turn on which we don't want this is the right to high high means one relay module is now shut down and the same thing this is the right 13 high the second module is also now turn off digital right 12 i high so all the relay modules now we have turned off now we'll turn it on one by one so we'll come to the loop just because it will you know run again and again so digital right we'll first of all make the pin number too low that is we have turned on the relay right we'll take a delay let's say for thousand millisecond then we will make it again high that is we'll make it we'll turn it off again right okay so what will happen basically it will see the program from here right so it will see the pin number two is high that means the relay is off and it will come it will make the relay module it will come and it will make the pin too low so that will turn the relay on it will take a delay and that will, then it will again turn off the relay okay so we'll make a delay here also and we'll so this is for one relay right 
this is for one relay that is for d4 okay you just have to do the same thing for the other relays also right so you can copy paste it to right we have four relays d7 d7 is our 13 pin gpu 13 right and this is our d6 this is our d6 so this is gpu 12 right and this is our d5 this is gpio 14 all right this is d5 right and we are good to go so it's a very simple program it will first of all turn off the relay then it will turn it on it will take a delay then it will turn it off and then it will again take a delay okay these are thousand millisecond okay so it will turn the relays one by one let's compile the code if it's if we have done everything correct so it will show us if we have written the code correctly it will show us one second let me just do it again will take some time to compile the sketch okay done compiling so we don't have any kind of error right so before we upload the video first of all it's a very good practice to always you know uh, check if the right board name and right port is selected or not so all are selected press ok and we are we can upload the code press the upload button it will take some time okay so as you can see we started writing the data inside the registers okay everything is going good all right all right so it's working fine as you can see nice right okay so we have covered up the entire video starting from installing the esp266 module to triggering the relay module right now in the next video we will make a home automation project using the blink code and i will teach you how to do it so that you can fully utilize this module and you can automate something in your home starting from maybe a tube light to a water pump anything you can do using the home automation and we will cover up in the next video thank you very much for watching